you guys, it's Jeremy with Dragon's Breath Glassworks. Uh, I apologize for the weird angle. Uh, I don't know where my tripod is, so um, I'm just having to hold the camera. I wanted to talk to you about uh, PPE, safety, uh, and avoiding injury in the glass shop. So, uh, as I mentioned in my video on Tuesday, uh, I suffered uh, kind of a serious injury. Now, thankfully, it wasn't the worst injury you could have. In fact, it's going to heal up pretty quickly and, and pretty cleanly. But it could have been a lot worse. And it happened doing something I've done a thousand times before. And that's just moving glass from one part of my shop to another. Um, I was moving a 50 pound bag of glass. I had it slung over my shoulder, walked it to its new destination, went to set it down and a piece of glass that was poking out of the bag caught my arm. And it started off as a slice and then it turned into a tear. Um, it was pretty nasty. Uh, it, if it had been about an eighth of an inch deeper, it would have cut into the muscle, which would have really lengthened the healing time. And, you know, quarter of an inch or more deeper, and it would have been into tendons, which could have been career ending. So, um, you know, something that I never would have thought about. Uh, now, I'll probably always make sure I'm wearing long sleeves and moving bags of glass. It's never even been a consideration, but something to think about. Um, I do want to talk about just basic shop safety, though. Um, so, I get asked all the time why I'm not wearing gloves while I'm blowing glass. Aren't you worried about burning your hands? And that's what I'm really not worried about. I do know that some glass wearers do wear gloves. Usually when working on really large pieces that makes the pipe extra hot, um, or you know they're really large pieces so they're extra heavy and you have to hold the pipe really close uh, to the piece where the pipe is hot. I personally am not a fan of gloves for a few reasons. Um, you know, maybe it just comes from my time working with heavy machinery that you know gloves are something that can get caught and when things get caught they get torn and there goes your finger with it and I know that's not really a concern in a glass shop but um, there are other considerations I feel like gloves give you a false sense of temperature if you're wearing a glove you're not really aware of how hot something is you've got that glove to protect you and then before you know it that gloves absorb that heat and now it's bound up against your hand and you can't just simply take your hand away and get rid of the source of the heat the glove is still hot um, and a lot of you have experienced this when you're putting pieces away in the annealer right you're wearing a glove you put a piece away and uh, the gloves get really hot and then you try to quickly get them off because your fingers are starting to burn um, not burn burn but painful burn um, so that's why I don't personally wear gloves when working though I do understand a lot of people do especially if you're constantly tooling next to really hot gathers of glass right-handed gloves are pretty common um, especially for sculpting and that's fine I just I personally don't think it's the safest safest option um, <clears throat> you know you become uncomfortable long before you damage your your body uh, when it comes to heat and I think you should rely on your body's instincts on that But there are other pieces of safety equipment that are really must-haves in a shop uh, And the two that spring to mind immediately are safety glasses and respirators now as far as glasses go um, There's the Theory out there that we should all be wearing didymium lenses no matter what and if you're doing torch work. Yeah, sure uh, if you are in doing furnace work depending on how hot your glory hole or your furnace is they could be recommended you know personally any safety glasses are a good option you've seen my videos you know that I don't always wear the appropriate safety glasses um, you know I've got my glasses and they've done a pretty good job in the past of stopping pieces from popping up into my eyes but I know people who've worn just regular glasses that have popped glass in their eye and it just hits in just the right angle so if you wear glasses like me and you don't have prescription safety glasses um, goggles are an option but they fog up I've got these that I use occasionally uh, they're yellow that's not for you know any sort of intention of blocking uh, rays they look goofy but they fit over my regular glasses uh, these do I have astigmatism so when I'm driving at night these do help a little bit for that but that's what they're for but they do wrap around they do protect uh, the sides from little popping glass. Um, I do occasionally wear them. I do wear them when I'm cold working um, because that's when I usually end up with little bits of glass popping and breaking and things like that. So this is what I wear when I cold work. You can wear a full face shield, which is probably the best. Goggles, again, they fog up. I like those for cold working. Uh, as far as respirators, I don't have my respirator here, which is really bad because I should, 
um, because you should always wear a respirator when you're working with loose glass. Now, I do, obviously, yes, when batching, you know, when working with those chemicals, you definitely should, but even if you're just scooping nuggets, you know, glass gets dusty, uh, and you don't want to breathe that stuff in. It's, it's something that most people don't do, though. You, most people do not wear respirators when shoveling glass or, or making charges to the furnace unless they're dealing with batch. But when you're pouring frit out or powders or um, when you're dealing with nuggets, you should really be wearing a respirator to protect, your, protect yourself. The thing about glass blowing is that, you know, all of our injuries, when they happen and they're sudden, they're typically surface level, right? We get minor burns. They might put us out for a week or two, but we don't really have any disfiguring, debilitating injuries that we get. Our serious injuries are the ones that sneak up on you. They are, <clears throat> they are the cumulative injuries. You breathe in a little bit of glass powder, it's not gonna kill you. But you do that every day for 30 years, you've got silicosis. Um, you constantly stare into the furnace, you're not gonna get glaucoma, but you do it every day for 30 years, you are. You're, you're gonna have issues. So take care of your bodies. You know, when you are blowing glass, your body is your livelihood. Uh, and when you break yourself, you're out of commission. When you rely on yourself to do the work, it's tough. I mean, I was able to make a few pieces one-handed um, over last weekend. It sucked, but I was able to do it. Uh, and I'll be doing it this week. I, I'm, I've got most of the command of my right hand back. I just can't squeeze as hard as I normally can. It just causes a little bit of pain. By next weekend, I'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to give, since I don't have my respirator on me, I'm going to flash up a few pictures, or probably already did flash up a few pictures of some respirators uh, that you can use from basic, you know, simple cloth masks to the, the big boys with uh, respirator, the filter sticking out the side, which is what I typically use. Um, <clears throat> at the end of this video, I'm going to put on uh, some pictures of my injury. So um, if you don't want to see that, stop the video now. All right, there's gonna be some uh, some other videos for you to watch kind of right over here uh, at the very end. So if you wanna skip forward to that, you can. But here in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna put up some pictures of um, my injury. So 10 seconds of black screen and then that injury. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe and we will be back on Tuesday with some more demos. So have a good one and we'll see you next time.